welcome back to my channel it's so good to have you here with me today if you are new to my channel my name is victoria chin's room and i am your number one real estate consultant and agent here in the city of enugu so you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more real estate insights and for more cultural content like this so first of all i am from ogu enugu state Uwapala to be precise and what you saw in the first clip is one of our tradition called aju festival or izoekwa in english it is called coming of age ceremony for every male child in ubu from the age of 19 to 23 years and the tradition is done every three years so this is very very special to us and it's just like christmas for us as well because everybody will have to come back home to participate or to witness this event so i am going to show you a glimpse of my village and our culture I love my village so much because of its location on the mountain. I mean, the peace of mind and serene nature is amazing. That's why it is called Ubo Balanenu. <laughs> now, Ikwekwa involves various social processes aimed at initiating the adolescent into manhood, as well as bonding the members of the age grade across the entire community of Ubo. Now, three days are usually set aside for the major processions. Anyways, this festival lasts for two weeks. The first week is when the family of the son that is participating in the Izoekwa holds a small feast in their home, letting everyone know, everyone in their community know that their son is now an adult and have come of age as well. Also, these young men parade around the village like you saw in this first video. All the celebrants are compared to trek through the ancestral footpaths around the major communities in Ubo, then ascending and descending the Ubo hills, crossing the rivers and streams, everything as you can see, this place is very, very big. It was tiring the first time I followed them, and I said never again. Ah, now these are the next generation. As you can see, they are trying to show us how stubborn and tough they are. They block the road, they cause too much trouble, you know, they make so much noise in this occasion. So, but it is it is their time. That is the next three years. They're the ones that are going to come out. So it is right for them to do this, although they overdid it at the end. Shabo, it is part of the celebration. Now, Aju Festival helps in the reinvocation of Uwo spirit. Now, this is is the only ceremony that gravitates all the sons and daughters of Ubo from far and near. It enables the members of the age grade to know themselves. It is noted that the bonds created among the initiates last for life. I mean, it is always going to be there. It also helps to assign value and function to the age groups in the community to help in the development of projects and other things. Then the second week is when people start giving the family gifts like a hall, that is the traditional cake made of a goosey. They also give chicken and money to congratulate him in the coming of age ceremony. These are the major gifts that are given during this event, but they also give other gifts like drinks. So it is all part of the occasion, which means makes it fun and exciting for us that are coming back home during this occasion in this second week they start the official ceremony the one is which you have watched in the first clip today where all the boys come out you know they officially come out to show their strength and dominance they dance they fight they you know do the struggle the torso everything this is when they do the opening ceremony they pray for them they wish them well they give them advice and so on day two is chieftaincy title and beauty pageant this place is where the elders come together and do the the rituals that are necessary for the occasion and day three is now the grand finale where everyone in the age grade comes out and if a king have not been crowned in the community yet this is where they crown the community now in ubo they have ubo bala ubo nambo umo naga they have genubo they have a uh, umu now they all come out together this period and do the final puzzling the final tossing the final showing of strength and dominance who can dance best who can do the shouting best and all whatnot age grade system serves as an an agent of social change in Ubo Bala, not just in Ubo Bala, in Ibo land in general. So make sure you watch this video to the end because I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. See you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
How about another half now? Another half. Yes. Phone the chichi. Who has to know? Aha. Phone the chichi. Feel no. Thank 